Hi, my name is Wayne. I am an ASE certified master technician. I have over 34 years of experience. Today, you and I are going to help to repair your car. Today our customer brought us a 1999 Acura Integra with a 1.8 liter dual overhead cam engine. They're complaining about a high idle and a check engine light on. For our diagnostics and our repair today, we will be using our safety gloves, our trusty flashlight, safety goggles, a pair of pliers, propane for an enrichment, a vacuum gauge, a Nova Pro Scan tool, and a stethoscope. Okay, with the scan tool connected, we're doing that because we had a code set. And our scan tool tells us we have a P0171. Bank one, system two lean. And we also have a very high idle. Okay, let's go into the hood and do a visual inspection. See if we can find anything that might cause a high idle and a lean code. With our check engine light on and a lean code displayed, and we have a high idle, we suspect we have a vacuum leak. First thing to do is to do a good visual inspection of all the vacuum lines. That one looks good. Well, I don't see anything off or missing or anything broken. So let's start it and listen and see if we can find the noise that way. It looks like the simplest place for us to access a vacuum port is here at the PCV system. Its hose looks okay and the grommet looks okay because we don't want to isolate something that may be the problem. That looks all right. Let's hook our vacuum gauge up and run the car and see what our vacuum is. Okay. Well, with the engine running, it appears that our vacuum is okay. But then again, the engine is also idling higher than it should. So the vacuum gauge will be okay reading about 21 inches of vacuum, but I can hear a leak. We're going to look for a leak around the intake gasket or around the fuel injectors. And I don't hear anything there around the throttle body, around our hoses, our evap hose, and I can hear it over there on that side. Ah, I can definitely hear a hissing noise from this side. Now with a vacuum leak, our engine's running lean. And our fuel trims have already taken care of that. They've corrected that. So if we use propane enrichment, which is fuel, we're going to over-richen the engine if there's a leak there. Ah, we hear a change over here. The vacuum gauge is still in the green, but the engine runs differently with the propane enrichment. I suspect we have a leak in this hose here. Manipulating the hose? Oh yeah, there it is. There's a crack in this vacuum hose. Let's put the hose on and see what happens. Now a vacuum hose is most likely to crack at the area where there's a bend or at the ends where they connect. This one has cracked at the bend. We have a new one and we compare it. Looks like the same hose. Let's put it on and see if our vacuum leak has been repaired. Don't forget to transfer over the clamps. Now with the new vacuum hose installed, let's run it and see what the vacuum sounds like, see what our gauge looks like and how our RPM is. Hopefully our RPM will come back down. See now our RPM is down where it's supposed to be. And I don't hear that hissing sound. Now this one was kind of tough because it's on the back side of a vacuum valve. But I think we got it. Now that we have successfully repaired our vacuum leak, let's remove our vacuum gauge. Make sure we don't have any cracks in this hose. This hose was off, so if there was a leak there, we wouldn't even know it. Looks good. 
put our PCV valve back in the valve cover, hook up our hose, and now I think we're ready for a road test. Well, we're back from our road test, no more check engine light on, and the engine idles at the speed that's appropriate for this car. There's a lot of things that can cause a vacuum leak, such as a leaking intake manifold gasket, a leaking throttle body gasket, or in the air ducting, or around the fuel injector seals. On this one, we had a vacuum hose, and those tend to be the most simple ones to find. But in this case, a cracked vacuum hose in an area you didn't suspect can be a little bit tedious. We found it, good job. This vehicle has been professionally diagnosed, professionally checked, and professionally repaired. Good job, let's get it back to the customer.